Listen to what I say, say Let's get to it and we won't tell nobody Yeah, we won't tell nobody yeah. hey, hey, listen to what I say, say Let's get to it and we won't tell nobody Yeah, we won't tell nobody yeah. What's going on guys? Thanks for going fishing with me. Hey, we're down here at the Aberdeen Lock and Dam in the Tennessee Tom Bigby River. Uh, they have the um, the pier part blocked off because of the, the COVID-19 stuff uh, going on. So I came down here to the rocks. There's nobody down here. So uh, I came down here to the rocks and I'm gonna throw out here in the river, man. And I've got something good that I hope is 100% gonna work. We have a skipjack. Yes, Lord, the top number one catfish bait. So we're gonna cut the cut the head off this skipjack and uh, and use one of the middle sections. And we're gonna fish. We're gonna fish for a while. I'm not gonna stay till dark. Uh, but the water's really up. There are birds out there in the water. They're catching fish. And since we got that uh, that skipjack with all that uh, oily scent coming off of it, that is fresh. This skipjack is fresh. Now I got four at home in the freezer, but we got a fresh one to throw out there. So let's get out here in this water and see what we come up with, guys. Okay, guys. I'm running my 13 foot surf rod. Um, this is an Avenger reel with the bait clicker, but we're not gonna be using the bait clicker. We're just gonna lock it down on my um, Shakespeare Alpha surf rod, 13 foot. I'm running 80 pound onyxy braid line with a, let's see. I almost five foot lead line from my uh, from my weights to my four alt team catfish circle hook. That's 80 pound eagle claw um, monofilament line right there for my leader, and I got 10 pound. No, I'm wrong. I got 15 pound uh, leader line for my weights on my weights. All right, guys, let's get in that water. Okay, guys, I got my decent piece of skipjack and it's got a rubber band around it. Let's get off in that water. Okay guys, what's going on uh, with my uh, rod is right here. There it is. I have thrown, I've thrown my rod um, out and let my bait move down toward this drainage ditch. That's a, there's a drainage dish down there. You really can't see it. I really would have to walk over there so you can see it better. But there's a drainage ditch right there. And the drainage ditch is for the water that's draining off of the highway and all this stuff. And there's a lake over there. I don't know exactly 
how it works for the lake to be water to be coming down here to the river but it's coming out of, out of the lake and that drainage ditch holds bait fish and stuff uh holds otters too because i saw an otter when i first threw out down here um all of those bait fish they all hang around that drainage ditch and those big catfish flatheads channels uh big giant blues they all hang off in those drainage dishes now all the fish in there aren't giants they aren't really 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 big but there are a whole lot of big ones and those really big fish just sit right there in that drainage ditch up under those sticks and logs or whatever is all in you know in those drainage ditches and they wait for a bait to come through so if you can find the drainage ditch uh throw out you know using the river rig you see i'm using the river rig if something hits it like a smaller catfish or something it's probably gonna knock it loose without breaking your weight off and it'll float a little closer but those big catfish once they get to the center of those skipjacks they are coming out of those drainage ditches and you better believe it they're gonna hit that bait and when they hit it if you got uh those team catfish circle hooks or those uh, Kamagatsu or Gamagatsu, sorry about that. Octopus hooks. I was saying the name wrong before, but you guys knew what I was talking about. I didn't tell you. Um, if you've got those hooks, number four up to a number eight is what I use. I actually got a number four on there right now. Number eight works just as good. Um, where I'm at now, if I was fishing straight up at the dam, I really would prefer to use a number eight, nine, or ten. You know, something like that. But where I'm at now, I'm fine. Um, I can use a number four, but those fish will come out of there, man, and they will grab that bait. Yes, Lord. Give it a try, guys. What's going on, guys? All right, this is the drainage ditch that I was talking about. And as you see, it's water running from the lake over there. There's a lake to the left. I don't know whose lake it is, what it's called or anything. It's somebody's land. But uh, as you see, the water's running from the lake and the road and all that stuff into the river. Now, down there, guys, where those trees are, that ditch is actually deeper off underwater than it looks. It's probably seven eight foot i would imagine i could be wrong uh, it's been a while since i've thought about the specs on those things and what it does is all the trees and wood and crap like that that falls down into the river they, it washes off in there and those big catfish hold there they stay there they go up under that stuff and they live there and they wait for prey and stuff to come out so there it is that's what the whole nine yards is on all that. That's why drainage ditches are such a good spot to catch big catfish. All right, guys, let's get back out here to where these, well, where my rod is at.
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. I had to fix my camera, guys. Woo! That one took a lot of breath out of me. Okay guys, that's what it's all about, look at there. Nice blue, nice blue, look at that. Big blue baby, big blue, what's up? Fresh skipjack, that's what's up with that. Guys, when you're fishing for these fish, those big pieces of fresh skipjack, man, it, you can't beat it. It's the best catfish bait that comes out. You see what I'm saying? That's the proof right there. Okay, we got plenty of time. Let's get back in that water so we can get one more. Okay, guys. That blue snatched my pole out of the rocks that it was in. But I got him. Now, that's off of that, uh, that fresh skipjack. I'm looking at my pole. That's why I keep looking over here to my left-hand side. Um, I threw the same piece of bait back out there. It's still gonna be good. Uh, I'm gonna fish for maybe another hour at the most. But, all right, hope I didn't get too close to you guys. I'm gonna fish for another hour at the most. But the point is, that fresh skipjack is the best bait that is out. As you see, I probably was here honestly about 40 minutes before I got that. Uh, before I got that cat, that blue cat. And um, it's, 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 it's a nice size blue. But we're gonna try to get a really big one before we leave. I hope we do. I kept that one. If we get another one, I'm putting it back because I'm not gonna wanna clean one. Clean two. And I'm not gonna wanna clean one that's bigger than that. But uh, if you guys like this video, hit that like button. And if you like my channel, subscribe for me guys I appreciate you 100 remember to smash that notification bell and put it in the alarm position so that you get all my content when it comes out man it's nothing like fishing guys I love it try to catch you some uh, try to catch you some skipjack and come down to the to the major uh, river systems guys and and throw it there in that water throw it out there find the deep holes now, honestly, I'm not even going front. I'm not using an, a Navionics app right here because I, I pretty much know what the deep water is in the Tennessee Tom Bigby here at the dam and uh, in, in, in Columbus Dam. I will be going to Columbus Dam after all this stuff ends about the COVID-19, okay? I will be going. Uh, and, the other, and the parks, most of the parks are closed, so I can't go to them. But... Uh, uh, if you will download you a Navy Onyx app, uh, you can you can see it on Catfish Catfish Dave's uh, video. I don't remember the name of it. You got to look through his videos. Uh, check him out. He's already he gonna he catch like man monster catfish. You know what I'm saying? Um, he was explaining about the Navy Onyx app, and they they work. What they do uh, is they show you the deep holes and the bends and and all the places where the the water um, mixes and, and goes in, in corners and all that stuff. You know, where, where the, um, the catfish hold it. You know, where they're gonna come from. So, you know, get your Navy Onyx app. If you don't have uh, specific areas that you know for a fact that are deep, give it a try. But you wanna find deep areas. As you see, you don't have to wait the nighttime to catch them, but at nighttime is a better time. And I'm not gonna lie, man, it's hot. It's easier to, <laughs> to fish at nighttime than it is out here in this heat. Yes, Lord. Well, let's get back to fishing, guys. 
Okay guys, I'm gonna show this one one more time. This is a nice blue. It's not a giant, but he's a good size one. Uh, we're gonna come out here tomorrow. I actually kept uh, some of that uh, skipjack. I got some big pieces left of that fresh skipjack. I'm gonna freeze it overnight, and we're gonna come out here tomorrow and give it a try and see if we can get one. Okay guys, if you like this video, hit that like button for me. And if you like my channel, subscribe for me guys. Remember to hit that notification bell and put it in the alarm position so that you can get all my content when my videos come out. First thing I wanna do guys, I wanna give a shout out to my homeboy Kevin Breland and his ex-wife Elizabeth Reeves for coming down uh, Friday and going fishing with me. We, uh, we did a, uh, just a little ordinary fishing trip. Honestly, I didn't catch anything. Uh, I think I, I think I finally caught a little, a little crappie, if I'm correct. Uh, but it wasn't big. But I mean, it didn't even matter. But, uh, but Kevin actually caught a largemouth bass, and he caught a skipjack. Now, um, he and he and Elizabeth were in, um, in kayaks, and uh, so they were fishing out in the water just, just out of, uh, just around me. And I was standing on the bank. So Kevin actually gave me the skipjack that I used on this video. And uh, and that's how I was able to catch that fish. So Kevin, thanks a lot. Appreciate you, man. 100. Okay. Uh, Kevin is actually going to be on the show in the future real soon. And he's going to be on one of my episodes. And uh, we're going we're gonna to do some fishing, man. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and just get out and have a good time with it. And uh, appreciate that. Appreciate that, man, for real. 100. Okay, guys. <clears throat> when um, when you guys are out and you want to try to do uh, do this fishing around the drainage ditch, ditches, the drainage ditches, um, don't throw into the drainage ditch. When you you see the drainage ditch and it's right there and it's going up under the water, you can't see the part of the ditch. It's off in the water now it's gonna be seven or eight feet deeper than where you normally fish so at the water uh, I think the water is 14 foot where I, where I normally uh, fish at the locking down unless it's flooded and then it's not 14 foot but on the average it's 14 foot 15 foot deep the drainage ditch is like seven or eight feet deeper than the, the regular bottom so there, that's where the trees and all that stuff that has fallen off in there, you know, it's where it's laying at. And all those big fish are laying down off in that drainage ditch up under all that stuff. Okay, don't throw it into the drainage ditch. If the drainage ditch, the water, we're going to say the water's running this way, right? The water's running this way, guys, okay? If the drainage ditch is right here and the water's running this way, just throw straight out in front of you as far as you can. Uh, with your uh, with your bait, your skipjack, your shad, uh, you know whatever you got on that hook. I mean, I don't know what you're gonna throw, but whatever you throw on that hook, throw it just throw it straight, straight out. It's, if, if if you're fishing on the bottom, do not throw it into that drainage ditch because you're gonna get hung. You're probably not gonna catch anything. There it is. So just throw it out straight. The scent is gonna go off into that drainage ditch, and those big fish. And when they smell it, if they're hungry, they're gonna come out, come out of those, uh, out of that drainage ditch, and they're gonna come and get that bait. You know, and then, then there it is. Then it's your job to catch them. And that's all you gotta do. You know, uh, in any given day, man, it could be a, a, a 20, could be a 30, could be a 40, it could be a 50. You never know what's laying off in there. It, there's no telling what's laying off in there. So, you know, that's how you fish a drainage ditch, guys. Uh, that's what this video actually was about. So, um, <clears throat> but uh, 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 on the real guys, to everybody that has subscribed to my channel, guys, I want to give a shout out to all of y'all. I appreciate y'all. I met a lot of guys uh, fishing this weekend uh, in different spots uh, down at the Shad Hole. I call it Bad City. Uh, I met some guys, you know, um, in Aberdeen. I'm giving, I'm giving a shout out to all you guys, man. Uh, a lot of you subscribe to my channel. Man, I appreciate you 100. 
thank you guys. And you guys know who you are. Uh, I haven't called any names yet, but uh, you know, all y'all know who y'all are. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. And to everybody that has subscribed to my channel, period, thank you. I appreciate you on 100, guys. I promise. Man, you guys, uh, you, you, you know, you, you made my day. I super appreciate all of y'all. I promise. Every single one of you. Without you guys, uh, YouTubers are nobody. And that's just the bottom line. You know, without the fans, you can't have anything. You're not going to do anything. You're just making videos and you're going to be putting them on your TV or whatever. You'll be looking at them yourself. There it is. But uh, thanks a lot, guys, for real. On the real. Appreciate you. Okay, guys. Um, oh, during this COVID-19 stuff, you know, everybody, uh, be careful, man. If, if, if you are in a place to where it's, you know, it's out real bad or they got... Uh, super gigantic ridiculous curfews you know about, about the rules you know what I'm saying uh, we we actually have a curfew where I live too but our curfew is not not it's not that bad uh, you know I'm not finna go to talking about that stuff because nobody's watching this to, to know what's going on with that they're watching this what was a fishing show so you know y'all just be safe man and be careful man and uh, my prayers are with everybody you know uh, I don't want anybody's family members, you know, getting sick. If, if you know, if, if, if they can help it, you know, all that stuff. Hey, I'm, I'm right with you guys, man. Y'all just be safe, keep yourself protected, and 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 may God keep His hand uh, on your family. Okay. All right, guys. Keep on going fishing. Have fun. Be safe. Peace out. Thanks for watching.